So, what's up guys, welcome back to another video. So since the last video we've got two necromancy levels, we've just been doing rituals, made a ton of ink, and yeah, we got um, a runecrafting level as well from daily, so we're just one away from 99. And something I've noticed, I don't know if it's from me, but if it is, if there's a mod who watches my videos, thank you so fucking much. Um, that annoying pop-up I complained about that used to go off all the time, now only goes off when you level up so even if it isn't from me i'm sure other people have probably complained about it uh thank you for that update that shit was so annoying oh nice just got ourselves some subsugation gloves uh, trying the tier 90s here the kills are so damn fast we also got a spear as well a second ago uh, which is weird because there are two items on the log i only had like one of i think the spear was the last item i needed uh, we've been here like no time whatsoever. Hopefully the streak continues because things like gloves, boots and hats is what I really want to upgrade this armor later on. Yeah, what the hell, another fucking uh, pair of gloves on the same trip. This is looking pretty good so far. Um, I don't, maybe I shouldn't record every drop. Um, I'll just say what I get for the hour or something. Okay, we're coming towards the end of our second hour and I just got boots. Also got ward as well, probably just going to disassemble it because ain't no way I'm leveling that up. Um... I think I'm done. And I, I got three gloves and a pair of boots. Mm, I'm either done or I just need one more item. Pretty cool milestone here. We just hit 2,000 kills in normal mode on this boss. Yo, and there's the final item we need. We can finally get out of here. I did get um gown of subsugation as well, but I kind of want to keep these sort of ones for components uh, and just destroy hats, boots, and gloves. But that's everything we need for when we hit level 99. Bro, I didn't realize I'd been missing out on so much damage. To get this prayer, I thought it was quest locked, which is the equivalent of these, like, turmoil, anguish, and stuff. Uh, you just have to talk to this guy. I think you do need 90 necromancy, though. Can you teach me any more? Oh, what the fuck is this? I'm assuming that needs the... I believe you've learned all the curses I have to teach. Although... Okay, he's probably going to tell me about necks, yeah um for the tier 99 one but that is gave me so much more damage that i've been missing out on oh my it doesn't really fit into my bar um i can put it there i guess okay so decided to kill this boss uh for some of these plates i think you need like 29 i think oh what the hell he drops that as well uh i think this is my third or maybe it should need 30 but it doesn't count the one you already got uh current kill count is 34 probably gonna take a long time Ah, and there we have, we have hit base 95s. I don't think that's a pop-up, is it? I feel like it kind of should be, though. But uh, that unlocks a bunch of stuff. Um, you now have all the levels. Okay, this quest, I think, is to fight the, the main... Was it protagonist, or whatever it is, of the, uh, the storyline behind this? Uh, I'm assuming these are the best weapons you can get as well. The tier 95s, and then the gear as well, the armor. Yeah, pretty damn nice. We only got ourselves four levels to go. Obviously, this is a 120 skill. It does go past. There doesn't seem to be much content past it other than, like, crit buffs, really. I take four conjurers. Is there a fourth one? Oh, whatever. But yeah, there's 95. So we have been killing that boss for the plates. Um, we've got about 17 so far, but I just felt like AFK and while watching something and got ourselves to 97 getting there two to go man <laughs> it's gonna be weird putting on a max gate we're not far off oh man this this is gonna be such a freeing experience because i've just felt like I, don't know, I feel trapped in goals sometimes and just getting necro up i, I felt trapped felt like i can't do other things in game uh until i finish with this current goal but there is 99 bro we are one skill away one skill away why, why didn't that notify why the hell did that not? Oh, there it is. Okay, there we go. You've achieved 99 in this skill. Oh, bro. One skill away. Let's get it. Ah, back where it all began. All that time ago. I can't remember the exact words I said. I said, there's nothing like having a fresh slate when you look at your skills. Um, I was going to do it by actually training, but <laughs> I just couldn't be bothered. But it is time. Right, when we come here, we went from like 1 to 87 runecrafting in one hit and then come back a little bit later and got 90. And for it to be my last skill, <laughs> it's kind of crazy. But holy shit, we have maxed. 21 years I've been playing this game and I've never maxed any account on any game mode. That's actually crazy. Look at that. Right, max... It 
it's just the beginning though isn't it like in this game it is like there's true maxin there's comp cape there's a million different titles that make like really cool achievements that are way more impressive than max cape boss logs there there's just there's just so much in this game that maxin is uh it's such a small part of it but let's go get that cape Bro, this guy you here just had to shit on my parade. <laughs> this guy called Sappy <laughs> gets 120 in every single skill after I get 99 in every single skill. Thanks, bro. Cheers for ruining my moment. But we're just going to uh, this place here where we need to... I think this the, the, is the max guild. Uh, we need to unravel the last few capes, I think. I literally have no idea how you get this, uh, this max cape. Bro, has it been that long since I've been here? Fucking summoning hasn't been unraveled. Uh, what's left is one there. Yeah, and I think then we can get inside. Oh, bro. Bro, I, I could have, realistically, I could have maxed fucking years ago, really. <laughs> but isn't it, maxing hasn't ever been, like, a primary goal of mine. But it, it's so nice to have it done. Um, does, Is that it? Oh, no, there's one there. And then we should be able to go in now, right? That should be an achievement for unraveling them all. Uh, quest? Nope, can't do that one. Oh, someone's probably screaming at the screen right now that I missed this one here. I haven't been here in so long. Woodcutting? It's got to be all of them. I haven't got an achievement. There should be an achievement. Ah, probably for unraveling all of them, right? There's uh, archaeology. Obviously the quest banner, which I don't even have quest cape. Bro, you got master... Like, quest cape in this game is so impressive because of how many quests there actually are. It's like 450 quest points or something. Oh. We joined the big boy club. You've entered the max guild for the first time. You've unlocked the max guild teleports. Whatever the hell that means. Just just give me my damn cape. Crystal acorn. Uh, don't know what that does. Boom. Big fireworks. I have no idea where you get the cape. And my throne? Sit on throne? Check requirements? Have a look. Oh, they got another one of these here. You need to sit on here. You've got to sit on the throne once you've earned the completionist cape. Ooh. Next step is being able to sit on that bad boy. Oh, wait, you get the max cape from fucking Max in Varrock. I'm actually an idiot. That's so obvious. God, do you think they would put it here? Like, I feel like moving it there would make so much more sense. Ah, I found this guy. Let's, uh, let's get it on. Never before you see the day. <laughs> Me wearing one of these. Get the head on with it. Oh, bro, like, it just feels weird. <laughs> Me wearing one of these. Uh, I don't know how useful it actually is anymore. Um, obviously, you can put a bunch of perks in it to work together and so on. You can actually customize it as well, make it whatever color you want. But, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave it like that. Classic. <laughs> Before you see this guy in a Max Cape. Crazy. Okay, one thing we haven't looked at, which is a crazy different to the um, emote on old school, which the emote on old school, isn't it similar to the ring crafted emote? Let's have a look. Uh, oh no, they kind of changed that. Okay. I think the like max emote on old school is sim similar to the older runescape, um, the old runecraft emote. I just grabbed these capes as well because I forgot to pick them up. We got the runecrafter one, which helps with daily viswax. Jilly one stops you from falling. And the necro one, which helps you set a permanent alteration glyph, which just helps with necromancy in general when you're doing the rituals. But yeah, let's look at the absolutely crazy uh, emote for max cape. It just tries to get you to use like most of your skills. I think there's a bit of mining, a little bit of everything in there, a bit of farming. Smithing, a bit of summoning, a bit of, you know, a, bit, a little bit of everything. We get a potion. A bit of every skill. Yeah, a lot different to the just spinning around one on old school. Okay, so thinking of post-max goals, um, the most useful thing I could probably do is, skilling-wise, herb lore and farming. So farming, it'll just be making sure I do player own farms. Herb lore will be making sure I do farm runs. And I've turned on, I've turned all daily challenges off other than herb lore. So that should really help maximize that as well. Um, in terms of other goals, if we just go over to his hero, right? Yeah, achievements, or even just summary, right? So total achievements, nearly 2,100 out of 3,350. 
Quest K, we still got 67, 68 quests. It's, it looks like 69, but it's actually 68 because the other one is just a repeatable quest that I re-rolled to get an upside down party hat. Um, if you know, you know sort of thing. Um, achievement wise, so if we look at, um, is it the tracker one? So max is complete quest cape there, and then you have a better quest cape. Comp cape surprisingly looks like I've done quite a lot of it because uh, I've always just randomly done comp requirements if I see them and they're easy to do. So we have actually been knocking a bunch of these out. Uh, where is comp? Obviously, the hardest bit for comp is going to be getting 120s in all the skills that go to 120 because um, we don't have a single one. And uh, Dungeoneering, got to go 120. Uh, Herb law, Archaeology, oh, Necromancy would have to continue with that. Farming, so on. Um, and a lot of these are just like quest capes in here as well. Um, bossing wise, so is it combat? No, it's right at the bottom, isn't it? Um, should have just close that. Uh, is it feats? Yeah, boss logs. So we've only completed five, only. It's still pretty good. Um, out of 43 boss logs that you could possibly do. Uh, so I'm not going to say I'm going to do all boss logs. That's fucking a million miles away. But just getting some more done would be great. It's just one thing I really enjoyed doing. Um, there's just so many achievements here. I haven't even finished all the area tasks. Uh, yeah, and just generally doing comp stuff, bossing stuff. It's just a lot less pressure now. Um, to just just freedom to just do whatever you want and have fun with it. And there are just so many, so many big, big achievements you can get in this game. Like, for example, the Dark Lord is something I really like. It's a title. Um, you need Quest Cape for it to begin with, and then you need to do, like, complete the whole of Prif, basically. And I think that's, like, a huge fucking flex of a title. It's something I want to do in the future. There's just so much still to do. RuneScape 3, the, the game starts at max, really. Um, there's just so much to do in this damn game. All these brothers, my guys, know that they fly, know that they ride or die. I keep boys by my side, CJ Ike, now I gotta roll with ice. Call these brothers, my guys, know that they fly, know that they ride or die. I keep boys by my side, CJ Ike.